hopefully a short video on how to set timers for charging and climate control on a Mark II Nissan Leaf Tecna 2021. From my usual display, I'm going to use the arrows on the left hand side of the steering wheel to go right one. And then we come down to EV settings and select that by clicking OK. And here we have the options for two charge timers and two climate control timers. Uh, we're going to select charge timer one. To turn them on or off, just simply toggle using the OK button on the steering wheel. Uh, to change anything, obviously you need to have it on. We're going to go down to the start time. That's fairly simple. Click OK, get to the, the uh, time. And up and down with the up and down arrows on the steering wheel. If you want to change the minutes, use the right and left arrows. And then you've got 10 minute intervals. To set the time, click OK. Setting the end time is exactly the same. Full charge has priority. What this means is you telling the car that you have to have a full battery regardless of this charge time. So if it can't get to full charge uh, within this hour and 10 minutes, the charge time will be uh, adjusted to get you to full charge. Again, toggle that on and off using the OK button. If we go down one more, we come to the days. So you might want to set days where you want to charge it. Personally, I feel if you're going to use the onboard charger, you might as well have it set every day. And then if you don't want to charge it on a particular day, just don't plug the car in. However, if you want to set a schedule, uh, the way you do it is you select days by clicking OK. And then you toggle days on and off using the OK button. Come down. Let's disable. Let's turn it off on a Friday. And one more, you get down to Saturday. Down one more, you get back to Sunday. And we come back out by selecting the back arrow on the steering wheel. And then we can see the display down the bottom here. The grayed out days, so Sunday, Friday and Saturday. Uh, that means there's no charging will happen on those days. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday are white, so there they will charge on those days if the vehicle's plugged in. And this uh, yellow line under here, or orange, under Friday just indicates what today is. So today is a Friday. And that is how you set charge timer one. Come back out. Setting up charge timer two, if you've got uh, two periods of the day you want to do you can set up another one setting it up is exactly the same charge timer only at home so this links in with the gps system on your infotainment system if you have uh, your home position correctly set and you are actually at home then this will allow your car to charge if you're not at home or the GPS system uh, is not set correctly, then this will stop your car being charged. So I'm not entirely sure. Uh, I've not come across a situation where I need this, so I just have it off. Charge time screen. We'll get back to that. Climate control timer. This is set up pretty much the same way as the charge control timer. Uh, you turn it on and off using the OK button. Departure time, 
So this is the time where the timer should stop. Uh, I have to say the climate control timer will only work if the um, the car is plugged in for charging and setting the climate control will slow down the charge of the car. Next one, climate temperature. This is where you just select how hot or cold you want it. Battery operation, okay. This option will allow 15 minutes of climate control heating uh, if the car is not plugged in for charging. Only if you have this set on. If you have this set on, you will get 15 minutes only of heating of the vehicle. Uh, if the car doesn't get to the temperature you require, tough. It, it will just stop after 15 minutes. That's it. Come down to days. The days are exactly as for charge control. Come back out. Again, there's a second climate control timer because you might have the first one set for the morning when you're going to work and then the second one uh, might be for when you're on starting on the way home let's go back to charge time screen click ok now at the moment you can see this is set to 50 kilowatts quick charge that does not mean that the car will charge at 50 kilowatts. What this does is it provides an estimate of how long it will take to charge the car at 50 kilowatts. So if I use the right arrow key on the uh, steering wheel and click once, we get to the battery status screen and we can see that this here is saying 50 kilowatts it will take me nine minutes to get to 80 percent okay so if i now go back to the ev settings and go down to charge time screen and click that let's uh, click three kilowatts so this might be right okay my um, six kilowatt system's not working. I'm going to use the granny charger. I need to know how long it's going to take to charge the car. So I've selected three kilowatts. Again, go to the right. And what this does is it's shown me here that at three kilowatts is going to take me three and a half hours. So if I needed to make sure that the car was at uh, 80% before I left, I'd have to start charging three and a half hours before I wanted to leave. Again, go left one and come to EV settings again, down to charge time screen and select the six kilowatts, which is what I have on the wall at home. Go to the right and now we can see six kilowatts 50 minutes up to 80 percent and that is the charge and climate control system on a nissan leaf mark ii